Hey, this is Teresa with One Mother, One Daughter. I'm here to do a quick video on how I decorated Tati Tatiana's cap for her graduation. So I seen a video a few weeks ago from HDTV. Carol had did a video on how she decorated her cap. And I was so inspired that I wanted to decorate Tatiana's cap. So I did. So uh, I basically... Um, did look at some other videos and then go on Pinterest and this is what I found to do. I basically did this almost a similar thing to Carol, what Carol did on her video. But I made it a little easier for myself. I used all the materials that I had in the house without having to go out and buy some more. The one thing that you do have to realize, and I noticed that some people on Pinterest didn't do, was to make sure that they have the front of the cap marked so you will know how it's going to sit on your head and people who's behind you can read your cap you must must do that first secondly you have to find a good adhesive i found this adhesive at well i bought this adhesive from walmart and this is a really really good adhesive i don't know where it's from it says made in korea suka wang made in korea I, I don't know the name of this but maybe if you look on walmart adhesive you will be able to find this this is really good so i use this for my bling i use this bling which i got from ebay like a while ago this ribbon bling and i just put my adhesive on that and put it on the edge i use three rolls of that the size of my cap was like um uh, i believe nine and a quarter and i cut my paper to nine and a half so after I put on the letters, which these letters are from my Cricut, I cut them out from my Cricut. I used some chipboard that I had, white on one side, brown on the other side, and I cut out my letters. I didn't buy anything. I used what I had on hand. So I cut out these letters from Varsity Letters. The bigger ones are cut at two, uh, one and a half. And the smaller ones are cut at one inch so that it could fit on the card and it wouldn't be all bunched up. It would be uniform and you can still read it. I colored the edges with my Spectrum Noir gray marker so that it wouldn't have that box color look to it. Then I rolled up some paper, tied a little um, twine around it that I used from here, which is Spritz twine that someone gifted to me that I had in my stash for a while. And it came out so cute, didn't it? I love it. She's going to be the belle of the ball. I also followed some of the bling on a tassel and used some alcohol ink to color the 2015 because it was gold and I wanted it to be silver to match with the decorations. Now, I wanted to wear a cap also, you know, just to... to proud mole moment but when i went to order my cap i didn't do it in time so i didn't um I, I wasn't able to get it in time for the graduation so i made me like a little sign that i can hold up as she's walking across the stage and while we're taking pictures and here is my sign i made it to go with her or her cap so i used everything that i used from there the varsity letters which i cut out from the cricket and instead of cutting them out and placing them I use the negative part of the of the paper that way I wouldn't have to size in it anything and make sure that it was it was straight I I did everything on my Cricut I mean on my gypsy and I just put the paper size which is six by six on it and cut it out so I took the letters if this makes sense I used the negative part I didn't have to place any letters all I had to do was place the inside of the letters on my sign and then I took a strip of paper the size so it could fit behind that to highlight the words that I wanted I used some stars that I cut out from it's a child's year just to fill up the spaces that were empty and again with the twine and the diplomas and then you know the bling around the edges just to go with the with the cap and so it could stand out and I did the other side it says yay Tati woohoo and some stars. This is a proud moment. My baby is on her way to high school. And I'm so excited. So, yeah. I just wanted to quickly show you guys what I did. Another thing that I want to quickly show. Because I noticed that when people were making their caps. They were having a hard time cutting the hole. So, this is just my idea. If you're going to do this. 
you'll place the paper you cut your size figure out what size you want your paper this paper to be and then you're going to place it on top like this and you're going to figure out what the hole is cut a little hole not too not too small but enough for it to get over there will be space around because you're not cutting a perfect circle but to fill that up and make it better get you a piece of paper and some if your dies let me show you and this is the size of the hole and cut another piece of paper a hole you know uh, a lining an outline so that you can place over your hole so that you they can't see that you made mistakes and it wasn't cut perfectly because it makes it look perfect with the hole right there i hope that makes sense if it doesn't and anyone wants to know then i will do a demonstration but i just wanted you guys to see how you can decorate your cap i did get my idea from hdtv but of course i put my own um spin on it because I really thought that was a great idea to decorate your cat. And it's going to be so cute. She's going to be so cute. So I just wanted to show you guys this. And that's it. This is a quick video. Proud mom moment. Yes, tomorrow's our graduation. So thanks for stopping by my channel. Please don't forget the thumbs up. Because I do um, love all of the comments. But I know some people don't have time to, to comment. So if you don't have time to comment and um you watch this video you can always just thumbs it up it really makes me smile so thanks a lot you guys thanks for stopping by my channel and have a great week